Hello everyone, thank you guys for tuning in my channel again. I know it's been a really long time, but I am here to bring you guys this makeup tutorial inspired by fall. I hope you guys enjoy it and also don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so first off, we're going to start off with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette. As you guys can see, it's pretty beat up. First off, we're going to start off with our Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. We're going to go ahead and start applying this all over our eyelids. And make sure that you guys blend this quickly. I did it with my finger because if it dries, it starts like cracking and it looks very ugly. We're going to start off with the top row, the third color. This will be our transition color. We're going to go ahead and place this color all over our eye. Next up, we're going to use the second row, the first color. It's like a yellow mustard color. I'm going to be using this Be Bella Cosmetics brush. And we're going to go ahead and put this in our crease and upper crease. Next up, we're going to take this orangey coppery shade with this Be Bella Cosmetics brush as well. And this color, we're going to be placing it inside our crease. And blend, blend, blend. Don't forget that you need to blend and leave no harsh lines. Next up, we're going to take that color on the bottom from the copper one. It's like more like a burgundy color. And we're only going to place this color towards the outer corner, which is the outer V of the eye. Make sure that if it looks too light, you want it to look a little bit darker so you guys can go ahead and pick up some more on the outer V and just put it towards the outside of the eye that's going to open up the eye. Next off, I'm going to take that brush I used for the yellow mustard color and I'm going to go ahead and blend those two colors together because we want everything to be blended. Next off, I'm going to take my Stila eyeshadow pigment. It's in Kitten Karma. We're going to go ahead and start cutting our crease with this eyeshadow brush that it comes with. Um, you guys, if you guys don't have this glitters, eyeshadow glitter, you guys have to go buy one. It is so easy. You don't even have to conceal your lid or anything to cut your crease. And look at how shiny it is. All of, I need more colors. <laughs> Next off, we're going to go in with this Morphe brush, and we're going to pick up that mustard color again. We're going to place it on the lower lash line, more towards the bottom, making it more of a smoky eye on the, bo on the bottom. And next off, I'm going to pick up this other brush from Morphe as well, and we're going to pick up this brown color from the palette, and we're going to put it closer towards the lash line. I'm going to be using that glitter pigment again and putting it in my inner tear duct so that it can open up the eye. And I'm going to be using this nude NYX Wonder Pencil and put it in my waterline. Lastly, to finish this look, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's my favorite mascara of all time. I am going to be coating my top and bottom lashes. And this is how your eye should look like. I'm going to be using this Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline. They just recently came out with it. I'm going to pair it with this brush from Morphe. It's M510. And I'm going to go ahead and place this on the top of my cheekbones. As you guys can see, this highlighter is live at its best. So I recommend if you guys don't have it, I did see that they had it at Ulta in stock. Look at that glow. Don't forget to highlight your cupid's bow and lastly to finish the look i'm going to be using this color pop liquid lipstick by i love sarai and the color mamacita i feel like it went perfect with the look and here is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe love you guys bye